I was offered the opportunity to review the longer Ray 5 10 watt diode laser. It's got a 400 by 400 work area and you can cut and engrave on it. It has a built in three and a half inch touch screen and it can be used offline as well. And it's also wireless. There's a little video of it all put together. And then I'll get into the video. I've just done a simple etching to start with, but I'll get into some more detailed photos and stuff in the next videos. Okay, so it's all together. It went together pretty easy, as you see in the video. And yeah, so I don't, you know, I've not had no issues yet. I haven't plugged this in yet, honestly. So this is the first time plugging it in. I just got it out here in my workshop. So. I'm going to plug that in, press the button. I do have a CO2 laser, but I never used a laser like this before. I did put a file onto here, it was a PNG and a .BMP, a .BMP just to see if it could work straight out of there. If not, I'll have to get the light burn file. So I'm just going to click that in. I'm going to go to control, just check it's working, okay? I'm going to just press engrave and see what comes up. No, my file's not on there, so I've got to convert it. Okay, I've got the G-code off of light burn in the end. Um, I'm going to stick that on there. This is the little leveling block. Should be where it needs to be there. That's tight. So hoping now I can just go to. Yeah. Okay, on light burn. That's what I have as home. So I'm going to click that as home and set zero. And now I'm going to go to back engraving I'm going to just click that and click engrave see what happens one thing that is very nice with this laser is it's very portable you could pick it up you know it probably only weighs 15 pound maybe if that so you can pick it up you know move it and put it take it to the work site you know and do the job right on the surface rather than have to you know get people to bring you the object or you know have it there in stock it would be good for like sales at a booth or something like that and on my next videos i'll show i'm going to try and get some better photographs out of it well for a first attempt i'm pretty happy with that really <laughs> Without knowing any settings, I just went on and basically, you know, looked up roughly what settings. And uh, that was a 9,000 speed millimeters per minute and a 45 power. Yeah, it's pretty clean little etching, really. And that was pretty simple to do as well. Yep, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll put out another video as soon as possible. Thank you.